will explore some techniques for cleaning up problem geometry. Here we have a turbine blade that has some geometric issues. Regardless though, we will continue to create a finite element model and see if the geometry will mesh. So here we'll select our mesh recipe, say OK, and here I'm pausing the video, but what you'll notice is that the mesher may try to remesh and back up and it may go through a few cycles of this before it fails and ask you if you'd like to keep a partial surface mesh which we don't but here we can explore those faces that it says have failed so there's several faces there that it's complaining about uh, another thing that we can look at is the syslog. And here if we scroll down to where it was creating the polygon geometry, you'll notice that it's saying that there are several faces that are degenerate. That can cause issues with meshing as well. Another check we can do is CAE body consistency. Here it passes that check. Some more checks we can do are back in the CAD model. Here we'll do examine geometry and ensure we drag a box around the part to get all the faces as well as the body. We'll then select examine geometry and to view the results let's go to an unshaded view and here we can highlight the results of those objects that did not pass the checks. So here we can see we have tiny and misaligned objects which sometimes can cause meshing issues. The more major ones are data structures, consistency, face intersections, self intersections, and spikes and cuts. Sometimes tolerances can be an issue, but smoothness just shows where the sharp edges are in the part. All right, so how do we fix this? There's potentially a lot of issues. We're not really sure which one is causing the issue with meshing. So what we can do is file export heel geometry and we have to do this from the modeling application and it creates a new part file with an underscore HG extension and here we can see all of the geometry that was repaired or cleaned up in that operation. Then we'll go ahead and open up that new part file and at this point we could create a new fem and try to mesh but before we do that, there's another command, optimize face in the synchronous modeling stack, which we can also run to clean up the body and optimize the faces. And here we get another report of how it's healed the body in terms of faces and edges that it's cleaned up. So now let's go ahead and create a new fem and see if we can mesh the part successfully with the same mesh recipe. And here I've paused the video while it's meshing it takes about a minute and you can see we have now successfully meshed the part. So there are some tips and tricks for cleaning up problem geometry.